So, we're supposed to be at the gym right now, but thanks to load shedding, we back <laughs> and dress like this. So, I don't dress like this at 6 o'clock in the morning. Right, so let's get the important part out of the way. The disclaimer, this does not constitute as medical advice. Please seek the help of a registered and qualified health professional before looking at and taking any sort of supplements or I won't say performance enhancing substances, but yes, performance enhancing substances which are illegal. Supplement stacks. One of the things I learned after the Lon Park closed tournament was that I did not have maybe the endurance to push through to games. I felt very fatigued, very tired, especially after the first one against Diavolt. So I actually looked into some things which can probably help me with my training as well as also just to recover after squash games as well as also train a lot longer and better during the week. And I also consulted Ron, who I've played before against, who is a CrossFit instructor at Lions Bay Fitness Center. And he sort of gave me a breakdown of some of the stuff that he takes, some of the stuff that may be beneficial for me. And yeah, that's what I'm doing now, going through my supplement stack. I've been taking these for two weeks and I can tell you now that I have been able to train a lot longer, train a lot better and recover a lot better through the use of these specific supplements for me. And that's the most important thing. As much as I might suggest some of these things and show you some of these things, you need to also find out what is good for you, what you need based on your dietary requirements as well as what you already consume during the day, during the week. Right. So some people might not have the same problems as me, might not have the same needs as me. So you will need to consult someone or do your own research before picking out what you need. In terms of supplements, first one I want to talk about is Winner's Energy. So most of these things will be US Energy. So this is my preferred brand, not sponsored or anything like that. Uh, but Winner's Energy basically is a hydration drink um, with a lot of phosphates and electrolytes. So one of the things I do feel that I, I won't say struggle with is hydration, um, as my fiance will let you know. I don't drink enough water, don't drink enough liquids, and this actually tastes really good. And it also replenishes and replaces a lot of the liquid that you lose. So I take some of that in the morning. I take that definitely before my workouts. If it's a training session, if it's a, a you know a match, I'm drinking that before and during the game. And that has been my number one, actually out of these before the tournament even started, I was already taking that. Uh, it was something that my fiance researched about hydration. And I'm quite big into that quite now, even in my gym bag, which is not here at the moment. I have my winner's energy already mixed, get to the gym, mix it with uh, the cold water from the fountain and good to go. So that's number one in hydration. I think another thing I've been reading about in terms of squash nutrition before games, it's quite important to load up on your carbs as well as drink a lot of fluid because obviously you lose a lot of the carbs or you burn a lot of carbs and glycogen during your squash matches and you obviously lose a lot of fluid. So you need to replace that. And my suggestion, if you don't really like water like me, and I think a lot of you do not like water, like me, this is your go-to. Um, try it out, put in one scoop per 250 mils of water, and you drink that, and it really tastes good. Uh, I think there is this one, which is berry, and another one, which is like orange or nachi. If you're South African, nachi makes sense to you, but that's the flavors that we do have. Okay, so that's that for hydration. Next is a staple in most athletes, gym goers, whey protein. Whey protein obviously is uh, a protein shake which you can mix with either water or milk. I tend to and prefer to take that after my gym sessions. After my gym sessions, after my workouts, after my matches, just to help my muscles recover. And oh, it's been really important in my recovery because at least my legs feel a lot better. One of the things that I complained about during the tournament was how my legs were really sore. It doesn't really help much on the glutes. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, that comes with conditioning and also working your glutes itself. But my legs have felt a lot better after consuming a lot of protein. I thought I consumed enough from the food that I ate and the meat that we've been eating, but it seems like there was just a bit of a deficit. It's not enough at the end of the day. And that's what a supplement is. It should be supplementing what you already eat and what you already consume. So that is why whey protein before this, I think I tried a Nutritech protein, did not like it, still have it actually in the cupboard, not going to actually use it. But this has actually been really nice. Vanilla goes well with almost anything. So you can throw in your bananas inside there, your fruits, your vegetables. I don't. Uh, but Imola does. My fiance, she puts it in 
yogurt and mixes and does a lot of things but vanilla is a safe bet you know it's not too strong in terms of flavor you can override it with your own things with your own sauces with your own ingredients but yeah whey protein is probably another staple that i really believe in and now we'll talk on the next two which are more of additions the next one is called creatine and this one is the creatine i think they're different types but i think this one is the monohydrate powder right so creatine is a powder which is supposed to help with increasing your strength and your stamina and i can tell you now in terms of trying to do and trying to do a lot more cardio a lot more you know endurance based workouts creatine has really helped in the last two weeks it's also been helping with my recovery as well but i just feel that i have something a bit extra in the tank a bit more fuel to go and it's something that i was skeptical about at first but speaking to ron about it saying that you know in his crossfit competitions he really relies on obviously a lot of protein for after the workouts and the performances but beforehand he uses his creatine obviously to get him through the workouts it's not really like a pre-workout or anything it's not as strong tasting it's actually something that you won't even realize that's in the system but you do feel at least for me you do feel the ability to sort of push through and find an extra gear when you need to in fact for this i normally mix it with my winner's energy so they go in quite well together so i'll put in 600 ml bottle of water i'll put in two scoops of winner's energy one scoop of creatine uh, one or two scoops of creatine um, in fact their suggestion is that probably you take one early morning before and also before and after training so i've been taking mine before training also during training um, i sip on it as i said because i have got it in my winner's energy my hydration drink so creatine has really become something that is going to become a real staple and that is why it's part of my supplement stack last but not least funny enough yes there is no usn on this one but i don't think usn makes omega-3 fish oils right so this one's also for the brain aspect uh, it's a good vitamin i guess or supplement to have your omega-3 fish oils this is from a product or a manufacturer called biogen and biogen also makes a lot of other supplements as well and they also have their own proteins their own creatines but yeah i take the omega-3 fish oils everyone knows omega-3 for brain function but it also really helps with reducing inflammation which is something that i think a lot of squash players might have to deal with obviously and it also helps with your eye support so i am visually impaired not that i am blind i just wear glasses and omega-3s are supposed to help with that as well not that it was the major reason why i took omega-3s but yeah more for my mental health uh, my mental well-being being alert on court uh, being able to you know think a bit better and also most importantly reduce inflammation that is something that a lot of squash players have to deal with especially around the knees and other areas yes groins and everything like that so that's where your omega-3 fish oils really come into play I can't say that um, I have felt the difference of this yet compared to the other three, but it is something that you have to obviously consume for quite a while before you actually start to see and notice the benefits. And yeah, that is that. That is my supplement stack. And we will talk about the greater impacts of this as the channel grows and we do more videos. And I guess if I add anything more to the stack, I will keep you informed. Anyway, take care. Cheers. Bye.